I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat. Wow, was that even necessary? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Lawyer Cat Zoom filter as well as how to remove it. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zoos. On this channel, we produce weekly content for creators, educators, and marketers, all in an effort to help you master video so you can do anything. If that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into, then consider clicking that subscribe button now. What we have all seen unfold in video from the 394th District Court of Texas is simple technical difficulties. But its viral nature has people everywhere looking for this cat lawyer Zoom filter. So today I'm showing you where to find it and how to set it up for your next Zoom meeting. These Zoom filters are also known as virtual filters, which integrate with your webcam to overlay graphics on top of your video feed during meetings, often programmed to follow and interact with your facial expressions and movements. There are a few virtual camera filter options out there, but the best one is an application called Minicam. Now, Minicam is a webcam software and video switcher that allows you to enhance your video meetings and live streams. I've included a link to Minicam below for a free trial. Basically what this does, it takes control of your webcam to apply graphic overlays, virtual backgrounds without green screens, virtual filters, and more. Once you have Minicam installed and open on your desktop or laptop computer, you'll see yourself in the video monitor. Now, to get to our virtual filter effects, we'll go over here to this menu and look for a tab called Effects. Open that up. Then inside here, we'll click on the Face Accessories folder. Then onto the Get More button. Now, this will open up a full virtual effect library inside Minicam, where you can become anything you want to in your Zoom meeting, not just a feral cat. Now this window will pop up and we'll simply click over here onto the Face Accessories tab. And we'll scroll down and click on to see all masks. You'll be able to view a variety of mask options, including a couple familiar faces, like Rumpy Cat. Now I have submitted our Lawyer Cat image into the library to be used as a Face Accessory virtual filter. But we're still waiting for Minicam to approve it. So hopefully soon we'll be able to use this same cat as our virtual mask. So when you find something you like in the library, hover over it and click download. The filter will be saved in your face accessories folder over here. So let's close this right here and then click over here onto the mask you want. This filter will activate on top of your face and track your movements. Now keep Minicam open. Let's hop back into Zoom and start a new meeting. Once inside Zoom, we'll want to select our Minicam virtual camera to appear over our webcam. To do this, we'll click down here on the arrow next to the camera icon to open up this menu. We'll simply switch our video source from our computer's webcam to the Minicam virtual webcam. Now we have successfully integrated our virtual cat face from Minicam into our Zoom meeting. Now, should you want to turn this feature off, You'll simply click back onto the arrow next to the camera icon and simply select the webcam built into your computer or your external webcam. Once the video source has been switched, the virtual effects are removed from your screen. Zoom itself does have some built-in virtual filters that you can entertain yourself with. However, the closest thing they have to a kitten is this lion-like cat face mask. And I can assure you, I'm not a cat. You can turn Zoom's virtual filters on and off inside the Zoom application. Simply click on the arrow down here next to the camera icon, then choose virtual filter, selecting them will turn them on. To turn these off, simply scroll to the top of that list and click the none button. And if you're interested in using the lawyer cat as a virtual background, I've included a link below where you can download those backgrounds for your own use. Now that you've got the skinny on Zoom virtual filters, Watch this video next to learn my top seven virtual background tips and tricks. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus. Master video, do anything.